Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. We're going to bring a, a friend up to play drums with us. Uh, Johnny P. Great to see you play, you guys. Incredible. Thank Old you. school meets new school, right? Seriously. Steve, thank, thank you for coming, pal. Thank you for having me. Thank That's you. It, man. it was you fun. Guys, it was fun. Leftovers from the 70s, I these kids. I can't believe it. <laughs> Why don't you introduce yourselves? Well, um, I'm Steen Schmidt. I'm Morgan McDaniel. I'm Andre Svablan. I play drums for the band. <laughs> now, where were you guys from? Well, um, you mean our backgrounds, or? Well, where you guys live in? Oh, today? oh, well, totally. we live in. Um, well, I live in 
Queens, um, and my mom lives out in Staten Island. Uh, Manhattan. Uh, Queens. Nice. All yep. over the place. That's how my band was. We, yeah? We were all over the place. Staten Island, Queens. But and, you make it work. Connecticut. Yeah, it works. You make yeah. it work. Connecticut. Wow. That's yeah, right. Connecticut. We used to, right, Davey? We used to all jump in the van and we used to go out there. Uh, <laughs> wow. But, now, listen, I haven't heard a kid like you play guitar like this in ages. Thank you. How old were you when you started, right? Unbelievable figure. <laughs> right? Um, when, um, I honestly just don't remember. Uh, how old I was. Um, it's so I just tell people, you know, as long as I kind of remember. Um, was it always guitar, or did you play other instruments? Yeah. No, it was just always, always guitar. guitar. I just always kind of liked that look, mm -hmm. and then, uh, and I just played um, um, just things you would hear on the radio, and then eventually that led me to um, blues. So you were self-taught, right? Pretty no, um, it was a mixture. I learned. Uh, I was, yeah, I, I was self-taught the stuff I really liked, and then, um, but the more in, important stuff almost, the, uh, like, theory and um, reading, mm -hmm. um, I was taught privately. Wow. That's cool. What about you guys, Morgan, Andres? It, was it always bass? Was it always drums? Yeah. It, was, it, it started out, like, um, in, in school. They had a school band, and uh, you, could, you, you enter the band in third grade. And I and I and I and I, I knew I couldn't play anything else. So I said, "All right, let's play drums. It's the easiest thing." So, Morgan, what about you? When did you start playing bass or guitar? Well, I've been playing guitar since seventh grade, and I just kind of realized nobody plays bass mm -hmm. or is that good at it, or wants to, or wants to. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I just bought one for, or I got one for one of my birthdays, and. Uh, when I met Steen, uh, that, that was kind of it. You're right. Um, we just we wanted we started playing in bars because he played in bars in Staten Island and just open for mics. years. Yeah. Right. And well, that's so, not where you met, is it? I mean, you're not well, even of age. <laughs> no, we that's met in ridiculous. school. Ridiculous. <laughs> well, that's a, that's they another story. <laughs> and that's not nice. <laughs> I'm just out. just a year ago. No, that's not nice. You kidding me? These guys would be rock stars. Go on, please. This would be well, a classic one day. <laughs> and uh, we just kind of decided to form a band because I said, you know, I have a, a bass. You know, why not form a band? Listen, We're for a year playing. and a half, mm -hmm. you're playing bass better than guys I know are playing 20 years. Really? And I'm not just saying that. You you play Incredible. really good. Incredible. When you were in my studio, you were. You were, you were dynamite. A lot of the very Jimi Hendrix uh, and... Uh, I gotta keep up with this kid, I mean, I can't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I gotta keep up with them, too. <laughs> yeah, man. So now, listen, uh, any future plans for the band? Recording, a little touring, what's happening? Well, um, future plans. Well, uh, we want to play as, um, as, much as, as much live, you know, play live as much as we can, you know? And then... Um, Recording, well, we want to record, right? We want to record. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think so. um, we've only been a, a band for... A um, few months. F well, for two years with another drummer, and then a couple months ago, we got Andres. Mm -hmm. and, oh. um, and it's been really picking up since then. We've been playing a lot of shows uh, during, the, during, um, during the summer. We played almost two a week. Where could people find you on the internet, Facebook, website? Yeah, well... Um, you can just Facebook uh, Tempest, T E M P U S. Everybody, Blues Rock fan Tempest. Thank you. Thank you. What a show, huh? Awesome. Awesome. It was chaos. It was great. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> a lot of people. Yep. Big Ann, she didn't even, she, I don't even think she's out of the building yet. She cannot get out of the building. Well, uh, it's about that time. I'd like to thank all our friends who donated all the fine catering that you guys had at the show. We have uh, Vinny from Fratelli's Pizzeria and Restaurant. We have Jerry and staff at Sagan Bagels, both located in Princess Bay. Yes, and also Polly and staff from Nucci's Restaurant South. As always, the food was awesomely delicious. Thank you. For sure. And I'd like to yes. thank all our friends, our family, our friends, our guests, our CTV dedicated staff who came down to the show and helped thank us you. out and supported us. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. And if you or someone you know would like to be
be a part of our studio audience, you can do this a number of ways, but you can uh, first off email late night with Johnny P at yahoo.com or you can check us out on Facebook, you can Twitter us, you can see our shows on vimeo.com. You can also check out our uh, website under construction at www.johnnyptv.com. <laughs> Well, I'm Johnny P. And I'm Lilo. Take care and have a good night. Thank you.